Hey everybody, it's Wigaholic and I am back. As you saw in the preview, we are gonna be testing two lines today against each other. We're gonna be doing the Aesthetica line and the Henry Margot line. So what I've done here is I've gotten my two basins. Aesthetica on the back calls for lukewarm water and the Henry Margot calls for cool water. So I've got my two basins here. We're gonna be using two of the exact same wigs. We're gonna be doing the Beltress Peppermint in the color Marshmallow Blonde. So we have these two wigs right here that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna take my little measuring spoon and I'm just using a teaspoon of each. It doesn't cost, call for that much, but that's what I wanna go ahead and use. Rinse that out to make sure, as I knock everything over, make sure that that is clean. And this one is blue. Hmm, isn't that special? Kind of different. I'm not used to seeing a, a lot of color in the products themselves. Okay, so that, make sure that's really mixed up. I'm not going to see any more of my glue. And I am going to take one of each wig and I'm going to dip them into my cleanser. And I like to swish them a couple of times. And I'm just gonna let these set according to the Aesthetica instructions, which is three to five minutes. So Alexa, set a timer for five minutes, please. Five minutes, starting now. And we'll be right back. So I wanted to thank Beauty Nook for sending out the Henry Margot products for me to do the um, test on the side-by-side -side comparison. Um, Y'all can check them out on Facebook and Instagram. I'll leave all the links of where you can find them down below. Um, make sure that you get on and sign up for the comments sold and join in on the Friday night live sales. You'll get some amazing deals and she also carries both of these product lines. So while we're waiting, oh, there's Alexa. Alexa, stop. she doesn't want to listen. Alexa, stop. There we go. So I'd also like to take this opportunity to invite you to follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well, and maybe even join our wig family. Also, we'd like to have you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell if you're new to our channel so that you can get notified when we upload new content. We don't just do wig reviews, we do product testing, product demonstrations, DIY, you name it, we pretty much do it and we'd love to have you join us. So now it's been the five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one and I'm just gonna squeeze that out. Now the Aesthetica is different in the aspect that it has a conditioner that you also soak in. The conditioner for the Henry Margot is a spray. So we're gonna go ahead and get my basin filled up here, rinse out the one that was washed in the Aesthetica and put the conditioner in. And we will rinse this one out. And we will set our product in there. All right, Alexa, give us five more minutes, please. Hmm, I don't know that one. Really? Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. 
Alexa's staff. So we've reached the end of the conditioning time. Now you can always leave this in longer depending on how dry your wig is. But I like to leave the Aesthetica Nourish and Renew in my piece after it's soaked. I do not personally rinse it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this. So here's the one with Aesthetica. I'm going to place that on the towel and pat it out. So I have two stands here. I have a black one, which we're gonna use for Henry Marcou, and I have the white one we're going to use for the Aesthetica. So I am going to lay that there. Now my Aesthetica does have a revitalizing and shine spray. So I am going to take that And here is the conditioning spray for the Henry Margu. That doesn't have a bad fragrance at all. Kind of smells a little more floral to me, I think. We're gonna leave those to dry. And we will see what the difference is, if any, in a little while. Okay, so here we are. We have our Aesthetica with the white mannequin drying head and we have our Henry Margu with the black. So both of these have dried, air dried. And what I'm doing here is I'm just combing through to show you that I don't have any tangles in there. Um, I'm feeling the texture and it's really soft. Feels really good in my hands. Um, now I'm gonna take and try to um, use the Aesthetica hairspray to try to um, calm down some of the flyaways or little broken hairs that might be up there. And obviously you can see I'm having a little bit of an issue getting the Aesthetica hairspray to pump. Now, normally I probably wouldn't have an issue with this, but the fact is, is I don't use wig hairspray on a regular basis. Um, I actually am showing you two bottles that I tried to get to work. Um, I tried washing the tips off, uh, scraping it off, and it, it just wasn't coming out. So that's, that's a negative for me. So all I'm going to do here is to continue to comb through here, show you that there are no tangles. Um, the hair looks very soft. It does have good movement. And overall, I'm pretty pleased with the results, once again, that I've gotten with the Aesthetica product. So now we're gonna go over to the Henry Margu side and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the same way that I, I don't have any tangles in here. Um, the wig brush is going through very easily. Um, it too is very soft. I'm very pleased with the texture. And I'm gonna go ahead and on this one, I'm going to show you the shaping spray and the finishing spray. Not necessarily in that order though. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this shaping spray on. Um, I wanna see what it feels like, if it's sticky, if it's um, gunky feeling in the hair. It does have a nice fragrance. It's not you know, overbearing, something I couldn't handle. And this did not make the hair sticky. Um, I was hoping that it wouldn't. Um, I was fearful that it would, but it honestly didn't. And I'm getting a little bit, you know, of, of um, shape in here. You can see a little more texture with this shaping spray. And once again, I don't use these all the time. So this is just my first time with this product. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. 
There I'm showing you that I don't have that sticky or gunky feeling in the hair. I was pretty happy. I'm also going to go ahead and use the um, finishing spray. I do have some hairs that are sticking up on the top. Um, some flyaways on this one as well. So I'm just going to use this to try to tame those down. Now this does have a little bit of a sticky feeling. It's not um, overly sticky, but it's enough for me to know it's there. However, when um, I let it sit there for a few seconds and let it dry, I didn't feel any stiffness or any crunchiness. Um, I know that sounds really gross, <laughs> but I didn't have any of those on the wig itself. So I'm pretty happy with the outcome on this one as well. These are both amazing shampoos and conditioners, and you really can't tell the difference on the hair itself. My only issue in this test, once again, was the hairspray. So if I pick a clear winner just in this time of trying it, it would be the Henry Margot. But I would use either one of these. They're both fabulous products. Until next time, this is Wigaholic saying I love you and bye-bye.